Hello, good morning. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will show you how to uh, disable uh, the default item um, of drop down list. Um, uh, we all know about the uh, default item that is select uh, item, uh, select uh, please select. These are the types of the text in drop down list. This is the default item. Okay, uh, in this video tutorial. Uh, I will show you how to disable it when we drop your drop down then your item will be disabled so first of all bind the drop down list with the any one data source or you can bind it with the uh, code behind file also okay now uh, add a drop down list uh, from the toolbox onto your design window and bind it with the database table first of all okay in the code file uh, this is the simple steps uh, this is already done in um, very uh, various tutorial uh, of ASP.NET so uh, don't take bother and uh, uh, please see the last uh, line of that video because in this video I will show you the two uh, lines uh, to select as well as disable the items okay so these all our steps are uh, considered previously uh, like the SQL connections uh, to creating the connection with the database table and um, the SQL command uh, communicating with the database table uh, data reader is used for the reading the data from the ta uh, from the table and the data sets to load multiple database tables and uh, data tables also so uh, these are the different types of uh, classes uh, we already used in various tutorials so uh, by using uh, these classes we can do uh, the connections uh, with the database table and retrieving the data from the database table and bind uh, those data with the any any one control so here uh, i will bind the data uh, with the uh, drop down list so sql command sql connections and the data reader also okay uh, the what is the logic behind the uh, disabled item is actually attribute is uh, used to disabled item because uh, I want to add uh, the item at index 0 first of all because the default item is actually uh, uh, have in drop down list at index 0 so first of all add item at index number 0 by using the insert method okay now use drop down list 1 dot items dot insert insert it means what index you can use uh, so mention in the index number as well as the string uh, types of text okay uh, in this video uh, I will show you in uh, later uh, sessions uh, that you can show in your video and after that we can disable it when we drop it uh, then you can disable it because uh, but how uh, so uh, what is the logic that is the logic is uh, items of at position 0 dot attributes that attributes contain the disabled and the value also contain the disabled okay so first of all select and after that disabled so in this video tutorials I will show to the two method that's when uh, when uh, your drop down is drop up then item is disabled but when not drop up then item is selected so first of all add item at insert uh, at index 0 so the data uh, drop down list 1 dot data text field data text field is and the drop down list 1 dot uh, data value field Uh, here we have a employee table 
so the data text field is represent to name and the data value field is represent to id so okay now at index 0 add a text that is default text at index 0 so in the insert method we have two parameters that is in integer index and list item items also that select is a item at index 0 after that we can use the select attributes items of 0 at positions dot selected is true okay that is selected oops getting error because uh, the selected property is uh, written or you can say get and set the true as well as false value the what is the attribute in disabled also we can have the value of uh, disabled attributes is also disabled cannot implicit can convert a string to bool so here we have a true value true and the square bracket is actually used in vb but here we have a c sharp so use square brackets so that's fine now save it and run it so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my all other video tutorials if you want to learn many more things about the asp.net shisha uh, and many more things about uh, asp.net video tutorials i will show you uh, how to create a projects in asp.net web forms and many more things which is related to forms and your queries and your exceptions and your errors uh, I promise you, uh, you learn very well uh, by using this uh, channel. So keep it up and keep watching my all other video tutorials. So thank you, thank you very much.